Hi everyone, welcome to Sociology 101. My name is PL and I am here to help all of you succeed in sociology. Whether it is the A-levels or the IB or anything, especially the uni level since I'm taking it in university. So the purpose of this channel is to really help you guys to understand, which means questions can always be asked. Please write any questions in the comments and I will try my best to answer it for you guys. So in this first video, I will be starting with a man named George Stimmel. This man is a very interesting thinker. He argues against the majority of thinkers that we will be discussing, such as Marx, Durkheim and Weber. He claims that society must not be looked at simply through a macro aspect of economy status or politics. Rather, society must be seen and analyzed, studied through micro interactions, to which he calls it association. So that's the first idea, association. But in general, unlike Durkheim, he rejects the concept that society is an external factor acting upon people. How does he believe that this existed? Well, he thought to himself that for society to exist, people must actually conceptualize the structures by their own imagination and consciousness so that it can have an effect on people. Society is not simply out there, but it is a cultural representation of the people. So what we know as a clan or as a city, nonetheless, we must also remember that Simmel does believe in the existence of macrostructures, being a major component that can be seen as society. As a part of the introduction, I would like to also introduce his dialectical thinking. He believes that we are autonomous beings, we have the ability to create new norms, and yet, on the other side, we are a product of historical and social identification. We are bound to the past structure that forms us and our past interaction. For example, when we are born, we have no control of who can, who is our family or our society. So that, in a sense, is the past. And we, as individuals, we are able to change the future sort of thing. Having said that, uh, I do believe that this dialectical thinking is much more complex than to say past versus future life. So I would like to drag a, an example from Simmel himself about fashion. So according to him, fashion is a precise example that shows his theory that the world is both autonomous and bound to history. Okay, so fashion is a form of social relationship that allows those who wish to conform to the demands of the group to do so. However, fashions also allow people who wish to individualize themselves, who wish to represent themselves as individuals, to deviate from it. Now, you see these dialectical thinking, they're very complex. But I believe that with that complexion comes a precise and very useful conclusion. Unlike many thinkers, he used this fashion to prove that deviance is actually part of human nature. How? Well, think about it this way. If you see new trends coming out and people follow it, and after five, six years, the trend dies down, it clearly proves that it is very normal for things to come up and disappear immediately. In his own words, he says that the success and spread of any given fashion will eventually lead to its own failure. For those who wish to understand the advanced terminology, it is known as inverse form of imitation, where people refusing to follow the norm believes that they are autonomous, but they are simply a part of nature to deviate from the norm. Well, I do hope all of you have learned about George Simmel in five minutes as an introduction of who he is, 
his standing and his at least his mindset for us to continue in the next video on associate further types of association formal forms of interaction social types and also his understanding of geometry and how science is related to sociology in that sense so please do watch the second video and don't forget to ask me any questions or or write me any comments whatever just give me some feedbacks if it's possible but obviously if you do like the video please like it and definitely subscribe to my channel see you guys next time